Let's take a little look around to see exactly what's spawning out here. We've got digging spots, we've got palm trees, we've got pumpkins. We've got basically every biome in every area. It all just turned into one big biome with a little bit of everything. Today, we've got a really stupid idea to accomplish, but it's going to answer a very important question. What happens if we were to cover the entire ground in some kind of flooring and forager? As I understand it, there's an update coming where the monsters will now be able to break your structures. That sounds like it's going to be a huge pain. My theory is simply that they can't spawn on top of things like floors. Therefore, if I cover the world in floors, no monsters to break my stuff. Checkmate, Hop Frog. I've outsmarted you again. The first step, obviously, is just to do this one million times. I actually like this part of the idea best so far because it's the one part that I know actually works for sure. But you know what, I can actually be multitasking right now. We're definitely going to be needing one of these, a carpentry station. And I've just now realized I only have 294,000 wood. Not sure if that's going to be a problem or not, I can get more if need be. Road looks like our only option to do this. We could use fences, but roads can work too. Uh, each one of those costs 5 wood. 5 wood times the entire map is probably going to be quite a bit. It should be a set price the whole way through and it's going to take some time to make. 999 it is. You get started on that and I'll find you a robot. How about a pug? There we go. That's going pretty quick. Where are the power plants? Ah, oh, whatever. That should be fine. It's going pretty quick. I'm going to go fill in some land. I am going to make one more of these because I'm going to need more flooring than that, but I also noticed I can make a bed quite cheaply, and I'm hoping a bed can make me sleep through the night because I don't really like to play at night because it makes it hard to see for you guys, and obviously I care deeply about you guys. So... The bed does nothing? Oh, there we go. It just wanted to go right there for reasons. It was probably because one of my idiots was standing on top of it. Apparently these can be used at night to sleep through the night or to get rest. I don't really know. Apparently it's not nighttime, so I'll just continue doing the part I do know. I'm pretty disappointed about how much crap I have spread all over the map too right now. I thought this was a cleaner world, but I guess I just don't have any of those anymore. It's definitely been a little while since I played Forager, but only now am I really remembering just how long these ideas take. It must be nighttime because I'm allowed to use my bed. The rain doesn't matter anyway. Am I using the bed right? This doesn't feel right. Oh, okay. I guess that's how we use a bed. That's how I use my bed. The best part about this one is, as soon as I'm done doing this, I basically get to do it all again. I've just realized that at some point I'm going to have to move all these droids and they're going to have to be following me because I'm not really going to have any structures for them at some point. So I'm going to have 50 droids taking up my entire screen. Not even done placing on my ground yet and my things are already done. So I need to go start them on flooring again. So far though, we've got 2.4 thousand. That might actually be enough. I'm not really sure how big the map is anymore, but we'll just keep going because we can. And just on the off chance that we are going to need more, I'm going to put these lighthouses to effect before I destroy them all once again. To do that, I'm simply going to use, I think it's this scroll. Yep, there's a bunch of trees and uh, good enough for me. That'll get us a whole bunch of wood, I think. Still almost 300,000. That seems like more than enough. But while we're at it, let's get started. Let's start laying some flooring down in the upper left corner. Gonna clear out all the crap. It goes down and we'll see if it stops spawning sheep and trees and crystals. I can already tell I'm really, really going to hate this process. I've just discovered something absolutely amazing. You can actually place flooring right underneath the butterflies. They used to be the bane of my existence because if they were anywhere, you couldn't do anything. You cannot remove a ground towel if there's a butterfly on top. Flooring though, go ahead and place it. So far, this actually seems to be working pretty good. Nothing is spawning on top of it. There is a sheep here, but it wandered on. I watched it. We can take care of that. And yeah, I think as long as there's flooring, nothing can spawn. So far, so good. The top edge is always my least favorite to do because it always gets behind the bar. Now from here, it should be pretty straightforward. Just gonna keep working my way down. Hopefully nothing too crazy gets in the way. So far, nothing's spawning on top of this, so this is gonna work great. The sheep do occasionally wander up top, but that's just them spawning somewhere over here and getting up there. Still gaining flooring faster than I'm putting it down, but we'll see how long that lasts. It is a pretty big world, and one tile at a time, these are gonna add up. We've hit our first small problem. I can't place flooring under this stupid ghost. He's not even standing on the ground but I just can't do it so I guess I'll probably just have to work around him like that. Not the end of the world. It still does bother me on some deep deep level though. And this one's even worse because you can't even tell there's a ghost there until he appears. I was clicking on that for 10 seconds before I realized there's actually an NPC there. As I'm nearing the end of the snow zone my things have once again run out of fuel so I gotta go put them back again. Definitely a little bit worried about this one because any of my ideas that ever go this smoothly never end this smoothly. Now to start getting into some of the parts that I really was avoiding because they're going to be extra work like taking out all the lighthouses and moving droids. Plus rescuing those long lost NPCs that I forgot existed. And in not too bad of time, I've managed to fill all the land for the snow zone. Now it's just a matter of the flooring. Oh, except for that spot too, but droids. I hate the droids. And that everlasting sound of production is starting to get on my nerves again already, and it hasn't even been that bad. Also, I'm not really sure what to make of these. Oh, okay, they're just land, but not land, but also wood. Can I place ground there? I don't know what those are. I kind of remember when I did that, but... We'll just ignore that spot. I'm allowed to build under this NPC. I don't know what's wrong with the other ones. And this one's actually touching the ground too. Maybe I was wrong. 
Can you have some floor under you? No, just the miner gets a special exception because he's a miner. In case you're wondering what the snow biome looks without snow, well, something like this. You can still tell it's a biome because it is still snowing, but nothing's spawning except butterflies. NPCs can't do anything about, uh, that spot is the ghost again. What about inside? Are we allowed to place floors on the inside of places? It doesn't look like it. Nope, doesn't even give us the option. All right, well, I was going to put this off for a long time, but I guess we better just see what we can do with all these droids. I honestly have no idea where I'm going to put these. Hopefully I have a lot of open buildings I didn't notice. You know what? I think I have enough. The worst part about doing this is trying to see past them all because they're always in my line of sight. And I don't have enough buildings, so let's find something really cheap and easy to make. I'll just start adding furnaces, but yeah, as we learned before, these get very expensive very quickly themselves, but I should be able to have enough for 10 whatever droids. And problem solved, at least temporarily until I have to move those again, but one thing at a time. As much as I'm loving that peaceful silence right now, I'm going to start the furnaces just one more time. I think we're going to have enough tiles at that point, we should have had 10,000 total. I think 10,000 is enough to cover the map. At least I really hope it is, mostly because I just don't want to listen to these things working endlessly. I'm getting to the point too where I'm starting to get objects in my way. This is a puzzle. I'm pretty sure it wants me to shoot it in the eye with an arrow. I don't have an arrow on me and that's fine. Haven't beat the game yet? Not gonna start now. We also seem to be having pretty positive effects in a desert area. We haven't done a lot of it yet, but this was all desert. Nothing spawning. Getting the bugs again, but I think they're crawling on from existing desert. The one thing that has me concerned is the slimes themselves. They seem to be able to spawn kind of anywhere, but we'll learn that later. Let's move on to the skeleton area. The graveyard area. This typically seems to have the most of spawning in my opinion. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but we'll see if flooring helps that. One thing you can't do as it turns out is place flooring over a digging spot. And I'm kind of worried what's going to happen when I go to dig the digging spot. Yep, takes up all the flooring too, so I need to watch out for those and take those out way at a time. Luckily, you can just place flooring right over top of the dig spots though, so it kind of works out not too bad. Because even as smoothly as this is all going, it's still going to take a long time to do this. Oh, and place right under the trees too. Interesting. I didn't know that. And we have more crap to move out of the way. This is one of the puzzles I have already solved. Really refreshing to actually run into some of these buildings. As expensive as they were to build, it's very easy to destroy them because I don't get any droids, I don't have to do anything extra, I just destroy them and pave the ground under them. I am getting a lot of the skeletons up in the corner, but I think they escaped the graveyard zone. They tend to be wanderers, as I remember. What's interesting is one of the demons is up here. Have no idea how that happened, if that's something to do with the flooring, or if he just happened to wander all the way up here. Never seen that before. At least, I think. I also forgot how satisfying it was to just walk through some of these areas just swinging your sword and watching everything blow up along the way. I don't know why, it just, it feels right. And my things just ended, now I don't have to hear them building again and again. How many do I have? 7,700 left, that should be more than enough. At least I really hope it is. I seem to have encountered an unopened chest. I don't really know the story behind that, but I'll take the orb. Probably just another one of the million overlooked things on this file. And this concludes the graveyard biome. Let's take a look around, see if anything's spawning. With the uh, exception of that escapee, it all looks pretty good. Clearly nothing's gonna spawn here. I wonder how many skeletons and animals will be running around the world by the time I'm done this. Just ones that got away while I was at it. Guess I'll start on the red zone and that's gonna mean removing a lot of pillars and other crap. Probably don't need these ones anymore anyway. Where did this big guy come from? Kind of a weird place for him. He must have wandered out of the skeleton zone and then back into my zone. Curious though, didn't expect to see one down here, so maybe they're still managing to spawn somewhere. I really love the fact right now that I decided to cover not one, but two areas of my map and lighthouses, which is so much fun to deconstruct. Just better every time. The Obliterator is that crazy expensive weapon you can get that can destroy anything in the game except a burning chest. Does my sword work? It freezes stuff on occasion. Nope, not even a sword will work. I guess I'll just pour a jar of water on it. Somehow that works better than the Obliterator. But at least this area only has one droid to deal with. The lighthouses aren't so bad. Interestingly, even the puzzle symbols still show through the floor. Unfortunately for them, I already destroyed the puzzles themselves, so that's pretty useless. Unfortunately for me, I'm working into that area that's basically my base now, so pretty soon I'm going to have to start relocating everything. The worst part of that is going to be doing all those droids. There's a lot of them, they're going to block all my vision. So I'm going to do my very best to not do that until the very, very end. I'm going to put flowing down absolutely everywhere else I can in the meantime. Uh, my friend, we're going to need to have a little talk about your factory. It's kind of in the way. Is there any way we can just kind of... Oh, we can. Good news, you don't have a factory anymore. So I will not be giving you what you need. Also, did anyone else just notice the cactus that grew on the flooring in the red zone? That's kind of curious. I wonder what that means. I think this little corner is the end of the red zone. Curiously enough, we do have another rock that managed to spawn up top, and I'm really not sure why. Both times that happened, it happened right here. And it was actually after I placed one of these EMP grenades. So what if there's something to that? Doesn't look like it, but interesting anyway. 
And there's also desert stuff growing over here. We do have stuff growing in my flooring now, but it's from the wrong biome. At least I think it is. What's under there? Uh, okay, so we'll just replace that to find out. And yeah, that's growing in the wrong biome. Curious. Spreading the biome everywhere I go. And over here, we are getting the graveyard stuff starting to respawn. We're getting desert stuff over here. I wonder if the flooring just makes everything and everything biome. That's kind of fun. I can't wait to see what this turns into over time. All right, well, one thing I'm going to do right now, since stuff is starting to spawn through my floors, is lay down a bunch of furnaces while I have the real estate available for it. I don't want to have to clear stuff at the same time. I'm going to go with that many for now. It doesn't really matter how many. Those are just a spot to place the droids when the time comes. And for now, I'm just going to kind of survey the situation, work my way around the edges, and see how I want to approach this part. Still haven't really done much of the desert, but all my base currently is on the green space and the desert, so it's going to be the hardest and most annoying to do. Good news, I didn't notice the digging spaces because desert, so at least I only lost two floor tiles that way. I'd get really annoyed if I had to dig up too many floor tiles. I don't really remember what this thing was. And we've finally gotten to that point, so I'll be back in half an hour once I move all these stupid droids. As nice as the droids are for clearing everything out, they still don't do it quite fast enough and they're more of a hindrance than anything. In a perfect world, I would be able to drag these around just laying down flooring because it would make it faster, but they're not worth it yet. Here's where we're at currently with moving droids to furnaces. That's how many droids I have. In fact, I have more. I haven't moved them all yet. I'm just, I'm surprised I have this many. I'm curious to see just what I can do now, now that I'm laying down the flooring and get kind of an everything biome. I want to see how this works and see if I can make an everything biome everywhere. Changing the whole world into one single biome. But definitely not before I finish covering everything with flooring. I'm committed now. I've got to finish it. Not really sure what I just destroyed there, but it dropped a whole bunch of stuff I apparently just can't hold. I am going to need a few vaults anyway, but apparently I don't have any brick at all, so that's kind of interesting. And apparently I don't have any coal either, so I'm not really sure how I found myself in this position. I have so many items that I actually have none. Using my incredible skills, I managed to make two vaults. We're going to pick up all those items on the ground, hopefully they haven't despawned, and now we're back on track. I have no idea why I suddenly didn't have any coal or brick. I must have sold it all, but with the amount of items I have, that seems odd. Considering now that I look at my inventory, I have 22.4 quintillion coals. Yet somehow only had enough to make like 21 bricks. I get an achievement built on top of every water tile. Probably mostly because there's just not a lot of water tiles left. There's one even here that's open, so clearly that achievement was wrong. And I've got three more vaults to move at least, so let's see if we have the resources to build any more yet. Our resources seem to have returned to us. 2.91 million steel and 27 million bricks. I think that's enough for another three vaults. Whatever I just did earned me a chest. All I was doing was digging. We'll take another one of these because useful. The digging spots seem to be popping up more and more. I'm not sure if that's because they have less spots to spawn or not. There is one under the floor there somehow, but luckily there is a floor there, so I couldn't care less. These are the last few spaces that need flooring. And with that, we're we're done. I don't know how many we laid down. We got 2.89 thousand left. Let's take a little look around to see exactly what's spawning out here. We've got digging spots, we've got palm trees, we got pumpkins. We've got basically every biome in every area. It all just turned into one big biome with a little bit of everything, which definitely is pretty curious. I'm not sure how or why it did that. I'm going to leave it for just a little while and let things spawn to see what exactly spawns where. Try and get some idea of how or why this is working. Also, as a quick test to one of our more diverse areas, I'm going to use one of the druid scrolls. It seems to spawn with its proper biome when I use the druid scrolls. This was all the graveyard biome. There are a few cactuses in there. I don't think those popped up from my druid scroll. If I do one up here, it should be all snowy stuff. Okay, so druid scrolls don't spawn anything weird, but when you let the game naturally spawn, that's when it does some odd things. So yeah, I'm going to leave it for just a while. We'll take a look what happens. And this actually makes things surprisingly hard to navigate without any biomes for reference. It all kind of looks the same, so it's hard to get back to my base. One thing I am going to do while I'm waiting is craft a fence with a gate. That way monsters can't get to me and hurt me. I need to leave this running for a bit, and I I presume anything can spawn anywhere at this point. Not entirely sure how safe this is given that slimes can spawn and they can't jump over the fence so that answers that pretty easily. Therefore what we need is just a bigger perimeter of a fence. Conveniently that does spawn in my little box. I think this should keep me safe. I don't think anything can spawn in here. I don't think the slimes can jump this far. So I'll see you guys in a while. We'll see what happens all over the world. I may have been wrong. I was gone for three minutes and I find myself back at the menu so I'm assuming something got in. Yes, one lone slime. So maybe instead of the throne, I'm just going to add a few more fence panels to hopefully give myself a little bit more distance. I'm not sure if it spawned in here or not. Actually, strange that I'm even getting rocks spawning on top of my fence, so the slimes can probably also spawn here. So that's interesting. Well, it's been about an hour. Let's go see what's growing all over the world. If this is any indication, we're just going to have a little bit of everything everywhere. Right here, we have some crystals, which tend to come from the snow biome. These come from the red biome down below. And the gravestones, well, they come from the west biome, the skeleton biome. So right here is a perfect example of everything growing all at once. 
It's kind of nice this way because you kind of get a little bit of everything. It's not that hard to go searching for but when it's all here anyway, well, it's easier. The areas do still seem to grow their own stuff more than the other stuff, but you still do get a variety of everything. Except for the snowy trees, those are the one things that stand out to me that aren't showing up everywhere. And here I thought laying flooring down would cause nothing to spawn, thus keeping the enemies away. Looks like I was pretty wrong about that because now I just have all enemies everywhere. This should potentially open up some new and fun ideas for this, I'm just not really sure what yet, being that the game's kind of going crazy. Like right here we have a tree growing over top of a rock. I don't even know what that is. But the game definitely doesn't really like the flooring everywhere, it kind of breaks it in a strange way. I expected this to be a really boring result. It was a boring thing to do, but an interesting result. And since I've got this fence area laid out anyway, I've got something I need to try. I wonder if I waited for long enough that items would just keep stacking and growing on top of each other. Eventually you'd have stacks of hundreds of thousands of things all on one tile without lighthouses. I think I'm gonna need one of these, an inscription table, because I need to make some of these wizard scrolls. Well, I can make one for now, I just need to try something. All right, somehow that gave me 18 wizard scrolls. Not really sure why, can't remember if I'm overlooking something, but whatever, there's 18 of them. That's even better anyway, because what I want to do is use one of these right here, which should spawn the normal trees, but then use that to spawn some animals in here. See what I can do? I can just keep spawning them into one little area. I can use animals, make a whole big stack of them. So just for fun, let's see what happens with that. I'm kind of on the edge of an island, but hey, whatever. You know what? It's not that interesting, because the animals take up most of the room, not a lot of new trees want to spawn, so we're only getting a few animals per time. But... You know what? It was worth a try. Anyways, thanks for playing animals. It's been fun.